Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a drugstore haul video or kind of like a drugstore haul video. I think there's like one high-end product in this haul but for the most part it's drugstore. Okay so I have my big old Ulta bag. So of course I went to Ulta but I also found stuff at Walgreens, um, Walmart, and Target. So we're just gonna get started with my Ulta haul. So I picked up these Ardell Deluxe Pack 120 Demi lashes. I'm assuming these are the Wispies. I'm not even sure. This will be my first uh, or my second pair of Ardell lashes, but I picked up the double pack because it comes with the little applicator and the duo glue, which I haven't tried. I've always stuck with my Revlon lash glue, which I like because it's latex free. So I use that while well, I have one in my kit for my clients and I have one for myself. Um, I don't normally make it a habit to wear lashes. I'm not wearing any today. You can probably tell because they look thin, but I, I just don't normally make it a habit to wear lashes, but I do like to try out different lashes. I picked up the deluxe pack. So yeah, that was that. So I also got a NYX Intense Butter Gloss, and I just picked up one, and I picked up the shade Toasted Marshmallow, mainly because of the name and secondly the color. And I think they were buy one get one free, but mm, this smells so good. Give me a moment. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. These are very, very pigmented. Not too sticky, but... You got to expect good quality from NYX when it comes to the lip products because they do have some amazing lip products. This is the color right here. I think it's gorgeous. It is kind of like a raisin mauve color, like it's a deep color, but I think you can just like pat it on the lips and make it look like a stain if you're not really into like deep, deep colors. But this is so pretty that I don't regret getting it. And I, I did want to try one of these to see how intense it was. I was going to pick more of a nudie one, but they didn't have any, so I picked that one. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was from Urban Decay, and it is the Ultimate Pair. Um, I think there was a red one, which I already have the lipstick to, and there's this one. This one was the Naked Pair. Um, it comes with the Naked Lip Liner and the Naked Lipstick, which I actually have on my lips today, and that this is it right here. So I actually have the lip liner on. It is very pale and it neutralizes my lips. I can use this under every lip color. So that's the Naked Lip Liner and that's the lipstick right there and they make a perfect combo. I really, really like it. And I decided to wear it today because I decided to go for more of a smoky eye. So daytime appropriate. So the last thing I picked up is all discombobulated. It's all like, every time I go to Ulta, I try to go get my Jerome Russell Punky Colors and poppy red and this that week that I bought it was on sale and this was the only one and it was of course the seal isn't broken so that's why I took it but the like sticker on it is like all beat I did get like a rain check if you guys aren't familiar with Ulta they do give out rain checks so if there's something that was on sale I don't know about their high-end products but this I was able to get a rain check on so I think I got a rain check for like four because this is my color honey and these roots are growing and it's starting to turn blonde Evie has to do her hair and that was it for my Ulta haul so I went to Target and picked up another elf angled eyeliner brush this is my go-to eyeliner brush it's what I use with my Ingla eyeliner with my wet and wild eyeliner and I actually threw away all my other gel and and like cream eyeliners and have just kept my Ingla eyeliner yeah it's that good and that's what I use in pretty much all my eye looks is my Inglot number 77 eyeliner and this brush goes hand in hand with me and the eyeliner I like using it so at Target I also ended up finding the L'Oreal La, La Palette nude 2 which is what I have on my eyes today and I could do a look for you guys this is a new release palette and I will just open it for you guys and just this is the palette. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. I would recommend hands down, wait for a sale, buy one, get one half off, coupons, all that. These are a little pricey. Um, at Walmart and at Target, they're $15.99. I think at Walmart, it's $15.97. And I found this one at Target. The problem is that I found all the new palettes at Target, except they were all 
opened except for this one and this one wasn't cracked or beat up or anything so I have it on my eyes today I got a nice little purple smoky eye out of it I like it I don't know what you think um but yes I picked up the Le Palette 2 and this was actually the only one I needed because I picked up the other palettes which I'm gonna show you right now so I went to Walmart and I ended up picking up La Palette Nude 1 and I had this on the other day and I must say these palettes are better than like the Urban Decay. I, I'm going to say it. I, I, you can call me on it if you want, but the texture of these are phenomenal. There's no fallout. Even for the mattes, I'm highly, highly, highly impressed with the mattes on both palettes. I actually used a whole bunch of mattes today on my eyes and a shimmer. You can wet it, wet the brush and use them wet and it does give you that little extra pigmentation. And I, and yes, some of the shimmers can use a little bit more pigmentation, but they are still buildable. And I don't know, I just love them. They're soft, they're buttery, they swatch beautifully. Um, I think I, I think I did a swatch of these two. If I did, I'll insert it right here. If not, I will soon. Um, this is phenomenal, phenomenal. And I don't know, I just, this is perfection. And I wish they came out sooner with these, but it is what it is. So with the uh, Nude One palette, there is, let me count, one, two, three. There's three out of the 10 mattes in here and they just work. They're very, very neutral. And then the rest are shimmers, which work beautifully. Some of these are shadows you can use as a one shadow look, which I think is great. And the Nude Two, which I actually thought was gonna be the only one that I wanted to go for, has six out of 10 um, matte shades. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Sorry if I'm, I'm not trying to blind you guys with the mirror, but I, I just, I have no regrets then. If you think, well, I think like at Ulta, and CVS and Walgreens, they're gonna be $20 a pop. I still think that's worth it. I know it's drugstore, you can always get coupons and deals. So I do recommend waiting for these to go on sale. But I paid the $15.99 for these and I have no regrets. I'm gonna be real. Still with the price of both of these together, I still paid less than I would if I wanted one of the Urban Decay palettes. So I'm gonna say it, I know it's, it's, a, big, it's a big statement to make, but these are so worth it. And I'm usually really, really picky, but yeah, these are worth it. Totally worth it. So no regrets there. <laughs> so I also, speaking of palettes, I also picked up the Blush Nudes palette from Maybelline. And I was weary in getting this because the first, I think they came out with just the nudes and then they came out with smokes, smoky or whatever. And I didn't hear good things about them. Now this I have swatched and I will place the picture right here are you there okay good um <laughs> so i did swatch this and i compared it to my naked three palette which is my favorite urban decay palette i have the two and the three and the three the three is my favorite and these are buildable they're not as pigmented as the naked you know the urban decay palette but you can build these bad boys up like no other and I paid 10 bucks for this and I actually had a $3 off coupon so I really paid six bucks for this at, well six ninety nine, seven bucks for it because it was $9.99 so the next thing I picked up was from Caress and it was it's one of their new body washes and this one's called Love Forever oh my goodness I just put my lips on it I love it so much it's very I don't know it's it's nice just I can't even explain the scent it's just nice, mm -hmm. but sweet, but just nice. <laughs> the last two things I picked up were actually from CVS and I picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I was going to get their new matte version and then I saw that they had a new look for their dewy one. This is the dewy and smooth version. So what I did was, because they actually had testers there, and they actually had testers in the same color I got, which was 220 Natural Beige. I have it on today, and I think it's a good match. Um, so they had samples of both the matte and this one in the same color, and I did half of my hand. The moment I put it on my skin, I can tell you right away I knew which one I was going to like. Um, the matte one, you can still see the lines of my hand, like it just it kind of creased in that. I know some people love that foundation and like 
would just go hard for that but I don't have that kind of skin I have really really dry skin at times and you know I have oily spots but I can just blot it away honey and live live my life um, but when I my other half that was swatched with the dewy version was so soft and smooth you could not see a line on my hand on this side it was like I could see every follicle in there it was I was like mm -mm, that's not for me it's not for my skin my hands are dry my face is dry come on now let's be real here so I'm glad I picked this up um, I actually picked up um, some bottles on eBay that I'm gonna be transferring this to because look y'all it has no pump it's so annoying because I can make a mess of this 30 seconds flat so I'll actually show you guys a video on how I transfer the foundation over and just do like a little demo on that and leave you guys the link below of where I found the bottles at so hopefully they still have an active link and they still have stuff to sell but yeah just more to come <laughs> last thing I picked up was from Maybelline and it is the dream wonder powder and I forgot who it was hold on give me a second Emily Noel she loves this powder, she lives for this powder, and I've been wanting to try it forever. Now, I've had these products for well over two weeks, I think almost three weeks, and I'm just now doing a haul. I'm sorry, guys, it's just life. Um, <laughs> So I have tried this twice, can you imagine? Twice, I actually have, this is the third time, I have it on my face today. It leaves me matte and beautiful, and you just spray on top and you're good to go. This is gorgeous. I got the shade Buff Beige, number 25, which I think is a good match. So that's pretty much it for my drugstore haul video. Um, let me know down below if you'd like to see any of these palettes in a tutorial. I will gladly oblige and do that. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up before I end this video. I am going on a no-buy. I'm actually on a no-buy as we speak. But you guys will be seeing, I think, like two or three more haul videos because I have stuff scattered from the month of March. So as of April 1st, I have not looked at makeup. It's hard. <laughs> and I haven't bought makeup. I'm just gonna be focusing now on organization and getting stuff to organize the little bit, lot of bit of makeup that I have. So then, you know, eventually down the road, I will probably buy again. So that's pretty much it guys for my haul. I hope you guys liked this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys, bye.